Hi, Paul here from makeyourwebsite.com.au. Over the next five to ten minutes, I'm just going to run you through how to register your domain name and your website hosting. Okay, so what is a domain name? A domain name is basically your internet address. So www.google.com would be an example of a domain name. Some tips for choosing the best domain name include trying to use your exact business name. Okay, so when people are going to search the web for your business, um, they're going to probably search by your business name. Alright, so using your business name or your website name, if it's available, is definitely the number one tip. Make it easy to type and easy to spell. Make it very easy to remember. Keep it reasonably short and try not to use any hyphens, numbers or abbreviations. So the main thing is, is really make it easy for people to find. As I said before, if they're going to do a search for your business name, they're going to probably put in your business name exactly how they think it's spelled. So if you abbreviate that, it's just going to make it harder for people to find. Now, all Make Your Website Paid Enrollments come with two years domain name registration for Australian domains, .com.au and .net.au domains. Okay, so what is website hosting? Website hosting is basically the name given to a web server that hosts your website files. So a web server is, is pretty much just a computer that holds your website files on it. So when you build your website or when you make your website, you'll create a whole bunch of files that will include text, images and different files like that. Now those files need to sit somewhere so that when someone surfs the web and goes through a browser, they'll do a search on your domain name and what will happen is, is their files, or your files that are held on the web server, will get sent to their website browser. Now, all Make Your Website paid enrolments come with free hosting for the duration of your enrollment. So if you enrol for a month, you'll get a month's free website hosting. If you enrol for two years, you'll get two years free website hosting. Alright, so moving across, I'm now going to show you how to register those two. So if we go over to www.makeyourwebsite.com.au, first step is to log in. Okay, if you haven't yet enrolled, you'll need to do that now. So you'll need to t fill in your first name, last name, username, email and password. That's all the information we need from you. Fill in that, click enrol and you'll be done. Right, but assuming that you've already enrolled, we'll just log in now. Okay, head over to grade two and register domain name and hosting. Now if you want to skip ahead and read the text version you'll see that in this lesson there is the text version there. Alright, but what we we'll need you to do at some stage is click on the register domain name and hosting button. Alright, now in this new window we're now going to select our plan. Alright, so just select the plan that coincides with your enrollment. And now on the next page, this is where we do a search for your domain name. Okay, so you can see I've got a search here for Golden Point Cafe. When you click on Add Domain, you need to do a search and see if it's available. Now you can see it is available and it's for free for two years, so that's the free domain name you'll get with your enrolment. Okay, now it asks um, whether you've got a coupon. That coupon code is the code that you received in your email when you first enrolled. Okay, so you need to go back to your email, find that coupon code, and put in your individual coupon code. So then you'll get that discount um, of the 340 or whatever you've paid for your enrollment there. Now, if that domain wasn't available, what you'll need to do is do a search and try and find a domain name that is available for you. So once again, following the rules that I mentioned before, trying to keep it short, easy to spell and not abbreviating, try and find a new domain if you can't use your exact business name. All right. When you know that one is available, you'll get this message here in green saying this domain is available for free for two years. Okay. If you don't get that message, then you know that the domain name is not available. Okay. On the next page, we'll need to fill out our details. Now it's important that you put the state in the province box, okay, where you can actually type it in. 
as the drop-down list here is populated with the American states. Okay, and just make sure we agree. Now this bottom section here, what we need to do is because we're trying to register a .com.au domain name, you just need to put in a little bit of information about yourself and your business. Okay, so the registrant name is your, is your business name. Registrant ID is ABN or ACN or registered business name number. Okay, so you just need to select that from the drop down box there and make sure you put in the right number at the top. Okay, select your eligibility type. So if you're a company or a sole trader or whatever your company status is, okay, and your eligibility reason. Okay, so in this case it's an exact match of the trading name for the Golden Point Cafe. Now, if you don't have an ABN, in the text version when you close out of this, you can actually see an ABN for New Business Solutions, which is uh, the business that I run under. Now, if you like, if you haven't got an ABN, you're more than welcome to use that those details. So I'm just going to enter them in here on the screen for you. Okay, so that is New Biz Solutions and the register ID is 12904213134. Okay, so basically that will allow you to register the .com.au domain. It will still be your name, you'll still own that domain. This is just basically to get you past this step. So use those details there if you like. Okay, but for now I'm going to change back to the Gold Point Cafe. Okay, and then click to go to the checkout. Alright, now this is the last section. This is the last step, is just to confirm all your details. Now, if there's anything on this screen here that you need to change, you can click back and you see the little make changes icon up the top there, so that's to your details there, or if you want to make changes to any of the, um, the hosting details, you can click on those too. But everything there looks fine for me, so that's all done. Once you've got to that step, you complete, you've registered your domain, you'll get an email confirming that with a link uh, to organise and set up your email and that's what we'll go through next is setting up your email. But for now that's it for your domain name and registration. We'll see you next time. Bye.